Hey everyone, Tim here from Flavor Blaster with a brand new episode of Tim's Tips where I fix your problems and answer your questions and generally have loads of fun. So, let's get into it. Today's topic is why is my bubble popping too soon? So this was a question asked by a customer of ours who got in touch with me about it. I ended up on a call with him, explained a few factors for him to consider. We then went through a step-by-step -step troubleshooting procedure and in the end, we got it working absolutely perfectly. So the three factors, if this problem ever happens to you, to consider are, first of all, your technique, Secondly, the bubble X mixture. And lastly, the environment. So the first port of call is to check our technique, ensure that we're basically doing it right. Here is an example of bad technique. It's quite common. As you can see, the nozzle is held too close to the surface of the cocktail for too long. So what happens is the bubble starts to form, starts to expand, but eventually it hits the flavor blaster and pops way too soon. Now, this is an example of good technique. This is what we should all be doing. We start in the same way. We hold the nozzle close to the surface of the cocktail, but instead of holding it there for too long, we're gonna pull away in the opposite direction as the bubble expands. Perfect bubble every time. Just remember guys that executing the bubble with the flavor blaster does require a little bit of focus. It's the same as shaking a cocktail versus stirring a cocktail. Stirring always requires a little bit more TLC than shaking. So whenever you use the flavor blaster, focus on your technique and make sure you get it right every time. So let's assume that your technique is absolutely bang on and the bubble is still popping too soon. Now we're gonna consider the bubble X mixture. So the Bubble X mixture is a complex array of ingredients that do separate over time if it's left stationary for too long. So before use, always mix it like so for five seconds before putting it into the dish. And do bear in mind that over time, once it's in the dish, evaporation might occur, which changes the concentration levels and it may need mixed again. Again, Perfect bubble every time. Okay, now that the bubble X is all mixed and you fully understand it, again, let's assume that the bubble is still popping, unfortunately, too soon. Now we're gonna move on to more environmental considerations. The environment plays a huge factor in the stability of your flavor blaster bubble, even to the point where microscopic pieces of dust that we can't see will hit the bubble and it'll pop. It's a fragile thing at the end of the day. Dust in the air, we can't really do much about that, but there's one factor that is the most important where the stability of the bubble is concerned, and it's something that we can control, and that is humidity. Now, the science behind this, we're gonna save for another video. We're gonna keep it concise in this one. But the basic rule is the Flavor Blaster bubble works better and lasts longer in higher humidity environments. Now, here in the UK, humidity can be quite low, so it can be a challenge. So I use some items in my development bar here to try and increase the humidity. Now, the most practical and effective solution out of all of those is definitely the atomizer. Simply spraying the cocktail glass before straining, after straining, and even over the bubble itself vastly improves the bubble stability. The ultimate way, of course, to control the environment around the bubble is by serving your cocktail in a cloche. All right, guys, thanks for joining. I hope this has helped or will help in the future. As always, please like and subscribe. And if you have any problems of your own that you would like me to fix or questions that you would like me to answer, please use the comment section below and I'll see you next time.